Today guys, we're going to be going over how to catch striped bass on bucktails. This is a style of fishing that I really grew up doing. Uh, around 2013, 2012, I very, that was like the very first time I was introduced to that style. Uh, it was the very first like lure style of fishing for stripers and it really got me going for striped bass. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use them to catch the most fish possible with them. Now I'm going to use a light tackle version of them, not really deep jigging for uh, fish. We're going to be out fan casting around with them. And uh, I like to use 3 8 to half ounce size uh, bug eye bucktails. I like to crawl them on the bottom and as long as you crawl them on the bottom and use a curly tail. Uh, the curly tail is going to be your main action and if you want to jig them while you reel them in, you can do that too. You give a couple pumps to the rod, let it pause on the bottom for a second. Those are really effective ways to catch fish with bucktails. So that's what we're going to do today and uh, we're going to have it all in action. I actually have a little clip right here from practice fishing this morning. I caught a uh, catfish on the first cast. All right, guys, out here throwing a bucktail. I'm gonna show you guys how to use a bucktail today and caught myself my first striper of the day. Is it a catfish? What is it? It's a catfish. All right, well, thought it was a striper. Ended up being a blue catfish on a bucktail. I think starts of the day. Sometimes that happens, you know, there's a lot of blue catfish in the Potomac River and it's just kind of bound to happen. So, and also do some regular, just normal striper fishing. I just want to catch a couple on the bucktail to show you guys how to do it. And then we'll go to using jerk baits and swim baits and maybe some top water. Um, this time of year, fall is a really good time to go out and just kind of test what bait's going to work best for the rest of the year. So let's go out there, let's catch some fish, and let's have some fun. Seventy-nine point nine degrees, five point two feet of water, and we're gonna try to catch ourselves some fall stripers. Feels like a good one. All right, guys, finally. Is it any good? He might be foul hooked. He's running pretty good. Oh, it's this one. Might be a keeper. He's close. I'm gonna grab a net here. I think he's gonna be a little short. Got off. Alright, let's see if there's anything on this side. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh my god, he came off. Did he come back? I don't know what just happened. Oh, tiny. Wow. What a mondo. <laughs> Quick release. So this is the bait of choice for today. This is what I'm gonna teach you guys how to use to catch striped bass. This is a super easy bait to use. There's not a lot to it. There's two different techniques that really, that I'll pretty much only ever use. It's either a slow retrieve with a couple pumps with the rod. And then um, also there's just a consistent slow retrieve. And that's kind of what I prefer to use is a consistent slow retrieve with this bait. So let's get into it and let's try to catch ourselves some fish. You're going to want to try to uh, make sure you have a nice plastic on there. I got a pink and white curly tail grub, 3 8 ounce uh, bug eye jig head by Hurricane. The plastic's also by Hurricane. your bait kind of hit the bottom and, and give it a real quick second and if you want to you can give it a real quick pump or two let it pause and consistently reel it in real slow you should be able to feel the bottom and this will give you an idea if it's muddy if it's rocky if there's uh, shells I 
I'd say the action on this bait is pretty good. The bite isn't as good as a jerk bait. You're not gonna have as many fish. You might get a little more quality fish. Um, it's still a really good bait to use and a lot of people prefer to use it. So this is my retrieval speed, real nice and slow, right on the bottom. As you see my rod tip getting pulled forward every time I hit something. All right guys, gonna throw this bucktail around, see if we get ourselves some fish. Ooh, see some bass over there blowing up. There's one, big one. Wow, he smoked it. See what it is. I don't know what it. It might not even be that big. He might be foul hooked. He's gotta be foul hooked. He's running so hard. Or he's just a real nice one. All right, gotta grab the net. All right, guys. This is how you catch him on a bucktail. Oh, this might be a keeper. Oh yeah, all day. Look at that, nice fish. Look at that beautiful bass on the bucktail. He absolutely clobbered that thing. Will he keep? Will he be the first keeper of the day? He's gonna, he's gonna be close. He keeps, I think. Oh, I just threw him in the water. <laughs> oh, God. That's the setup. We're going to get another one. See if we can get one. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. He destroyed it. Feels like a pretty good one. Another one on the bucktail. Oh, that's a good one. And there's a blitz behind me. What is going on? All sorts of insan insanity. Insanity, what am I saying? Making up words. Insanity. You know, he's not as big as I thought at all. Wow. I don't think he's that big at all. <laughs> he felt bigger. Oh! No, he's not even keeper size. He might be close, but I don't think so. There's another one. Chunky fish, man. This is sweet. Look at that. All right, we're going to measure him on this board. Eighteen and three quarters. I can't believe it. He's just a little short. The other one was keeper size then. Man, this uh, bucktail bite's really turning on right now. And there was a blitz right next to me, so there's fish everywhere. There's another one. This might be keeper.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. We went out there, we got a bunch of nice fish. Uh, used the bucktail, caught a bunch of the bucktail, caught a bunch of the church bait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, see you guys next time.